Hey, hey, friends, welcome to Roots, the podcast changing the world, one podcast at a time. Uh, if you're watching, you'll notice I don't have Jennifer sitting beside yeah. me, <laughs> uh, but I got Douglas Gonzalez, and uh, he's a friend of ours. Recently, as you guys know, I lived, we lived six years in Brazil, but we actually just first, well, we met before. Yeah, we met before at Londrina. Londrina, Londrina yes, Londrina, I remember, yeah. out in, in the foyer, yes, yeah. yeah. New Alliance Church, yes, yeah. Nova yes. Alliance. Yeah. And so uh, this, and so, but you've been with us, I don't know what it's now, 15, 17 days or something like that, showing three weeks with us, and uh, I've just enjoyed this time. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, um, I, uh, I, you have a, you have a health to you that I am just attracted to, but I also really see in you, like just your overall holistic, does that make sense what thank I'm you. saying? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, but, I want, uh, we, we enjoy a lot. We, we are enjoying a lot. We, we're having like really, really good times. Being like um, uh, so refreshing for us as a family awesome. to be here. Yeah. yeah. So you have two kids. Two kids. Your wife's Val. Yeah. And so, uh, first of all, just tell me a little, just give a little bit on your parents because they're pretty my amazing. Parents. Yeah. Yeah. My, my father and my mother, they are pastors in Brazil, but they are not like local pastors right now. Uh, they, they had, they have like planted a church. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I think the church like 17 years. Okay. Uh, but they have this ministry uh, about marriage and couples. Okay. The, their main, uh, sorry, marriage and family. Okay. So they, their main focus on is on family. Yeah. Okay. So uh, they have been preaching about this topic for 30 years, 32 Amazing. years. Yeah. Amazing. So it's awesome because they kind of started it, you know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. 32 years ago, like nobody was talking about this in topic. Brazil. Yeah. Wow. In Brazil. Uh, they, they were talking about a lot about mission, about, uh, the Holy Spirit, because yep. it was like this big movement, the Pentecostal church was yep. growing so much, and we were in a Pentecostal context. Uh, nobody was talking about family. It, it, it was uh, funny because sometimes when my father went to some churches to talk about sex, for example, yeah, in the in the marriage context, <laughs> totally. Oh man, they got so mad. Wow, uh, a lot of churches he never went there anymore because. Uh, he he was talking a little more openly about the subject, you know. Wow! So they've like. really challenged culture, yeah. change culture, oh, really. and introduced kind of healthy discussions. Yeah, because oh you, you you had like this really mystical thing going on, like oh the altar, okay, you know, the microphone is yeah, yeah, like yeah, totally. sacred, and then you Got have you. this clothes to go to totally. the church. Totally, you and, dress right. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So talking about a physical thing. Gotcha. Talking about like a body thing, you know. Yes. So, but but it's awesome to watch now uh, what Brazil is going uh, is having now, like in the churches. Uh, uh, like every church in Brazil has a family ministry and a marriage. It, it's like every church. That's a, a little Pentecostal church, like in a neighborhood, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this huge mega church. All of them have like this marriage uh, services and you know, a reunion to talk about this and i know uh, it was his th th this flag that he raised like Absolutely. for 32 years saying man you have you gotta focus on your marriage you gotta focus on your family so it's really good and then so, they have this this um this piece of land yep. you know it's not a not a farm sure how, how do you say like a little farm like yeah an acreage or i mean it's like a a situ yeah. No. Okay. yeah so like it's a little retreat center yeah a, a retreat center yeah. uh, for couples you know so uh they have this program from thursday to sunday it's four days program that they receive like couples who are divorcing but like we, we call how, how do you say uti uh you know i don't know that word uti uh, but it, when someone is dying huh i see you i see you no, like no. in a hospital, the ICU. ICU. ICU oh, you know? okay. so okay, I see you. So their marriage is almost yeah, over. Yeah, like we, we say that like, it's yeah, totally. only for a couple who are in this ICU. ICU you know? Gotcha. Like when they are dying, desperate. Oh, I have this little problem. We are sure, fighting sure, too sure. much. They don't get this kind of couple. You know, they have other counseling yep. books and everything. Yeah, yeah. 
but when they are like divorced some of them are already divorced you know wow so they go to this retreat for four days and it's crazy what god is doing it's like they have a 70 percent uh, success that's insane 70 percent. but it's that's a miracle insane. it's it, a miracle but they have a profound gift of reconciliation yeah. profound profound no because like, they uh, they have like uh, uh, couples who has like 10 years of uh adultery some wow th they get there and they have like a child with another woman and totally another, totally no, it's crazy things like and and they get restored wow. <laughs> four days so so that's my what my parents are Profound. doing. Does your dad speak English? No, he does speak English. Okay, so because yeah. I, I was in a at an event and I know I I've met your father, um, and maybe I yeah it's possible, um, I, but I want to get to know him was my point. Yeah. So amazing. So you will, you will, you so, go to but against. So <laughs> Douglas, um, so you were a youth pastor in his church. Yeah, I was a youth pastor in, in his church. For so a long let's time. talk about Jesus Copy. Okay, just tell us kind of how it came about and. Yeah, uh, I was a youth pastor. Me and Val, we were leading the, the youth group in, in my father's church. And in the second year we were leading, we were praying and thinking like in the end of the year, because the, a new year would yeah. start. So yeah. we we're, were thinking and praying. How could we like explain to them, make really clear to them, like what does it mean to be a disciple of Jesus? No. What means to be a type of this? So, so we, we had this question in our mind. How can be really clear? Because we had a lot of son of Christians, daughters of Christians in our okay. church. Okay, gotcha. Know? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, yeah. They were born in this context, and the sometimes thing. it's the hardest yep. you know, to lead with because they think they know everything, yep. but sometimes they don't know, they don't understand. So uh, we were praying, and then I was uh, at a service. And I had this piece of paper and I was doing like a brainstorm, you know, yep, I wasn't totally. paying attention to the <laughs> message <laughs> that day. So I do it like a brainstorming and thinking, what can I do with them? How can we lead with them? And, and then this um, this concept started coming to my mind, like uh, to imitate Jesus, yes. you know, to be like Jesus. So I, I was remembering Paul saying, OK, imitate me yes. as I am imitating Jesus yes. or be holy like your father is holy and uh, no, i was remembering this verses and I, I started writing down like imitate jesus oh you equal jesus and then uh, uh and then I, I i came up with this copy you, we gotta copy jesus now yes. it's a word that we don't use too much imitates more yes. biblical Imit let's say 100%. but it's the same thing like we gotta 100%. copy jesus and then i wrote jesus copy you know this one word jesus copy uh, in English, I wrote yep. in English, Jesus copy. So uh, I went home that night and I, I, I was looking at that paper and said, oh, I'm going to look it up in this website that I can see if anyone had bought the um, URL. Yeah, yep. URL. So and it was crazy to me because nobody had bought like the dot com dot br. That is our Brazilian yep. URL. But then nobody bought the dot com. Wow. And I was like, nobody have done this in the world wow so you know? this is and this is 10 years ago 10 years so ago. there's it's you know it's hard to find urls 10 years ago yeah it yeah, was exactly. already yeah you know and then i i registered I'm dot, sure com, dot com dot vr <laughs> and like twitter was available youtube was available wow you know, facebook was available nobody was doing that okay and it was crazy to me it's like because it's a little obvious you know <laughs> totally like, no, that would be a valuable one. Imitate Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> Disciple, do what? Copy Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and we started like posting some, and it was crazy because in the Twitter, Twitter was huge and it was yep. growing a lot. So in Twitter, we grew like a hundred followers every day, every day. And we were like, why? And we were posting like some, how do you say, like Christian sentences like yeah, uh, phrases thoughts, yeah, yeah quotes thoughts, and yeah. then thoughts and it, it was growing 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 uh but we were we were working in the local church right. with them so we okay. had this this meeting called jesus copy and we talk about copying jesus and then we had this uh winter co uh, winter camp with them jesus copy and then like one weekend talking about this uh but then in one of this winter uh, camp a guy came and he prophesied it to us. 
and he, he said like this do you want to do you want to understand what is jesus copy and we were like yes we want to understand sure. what is and he said uh jesus copy is not for the local church only it's for brazil you know and then, yeah and it was powerful for us so this was year two yeah year two okay probably okay and then uh another guy came and said uh, kind of the sim uh, kind of similar now uh do you want to understand what is jesus copy wow. <laughs> so, yeah we want to understand he said okay so you gotta understand that it's not just for brazil okay it's do you want to know why it's in english you know jesus copy because yep. it's kind of hard in brazil because a lot of people don't know how to pronounce you know totally. they, they pronounce what, what's the word in portuguese yeah it would be no, it, it, copiar copiar yeah okay. copia yeah. de jesus okay yeah uh so and then they said oh it's to the world and then we we, we kind of kept those words in our heart yeah you know uh and we continued working okay and then uh we started uh making this really intentional work in in on, in the online okay so you kind of took that and said hey we're gonna yeah. grow this a little bit yeah no i i didn't I, I didn't like oh let's change because this prophetic word let's change everything no I, I continue working okay. in the local church okay. and doing this work like online. Yep. Okay, so but we, we started being more consistent. Okay, gotcha. in the YouTube mm -hmm. channel yep. and everything, and it started growing. We we never had like a a viral uh, Strategy. video. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. Never. Our grower, our growing is like uh, uh, consistent. You okay. Know? Yeah. Gotcha. So and then we 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 thought, oh, let's do a conference. So let's bring these people that are following us like online and let's bring them to our city, to Bragança. And it was really interesting that in the first year we had like 300 people okay. came. Okay. And it was crazy because when you are like online, you know, you don't see anyone. You know, it's just like uh, virtual. Let's totally. Say. Yeah. And then like we saw these 300 people hungry. Went, they, they wanted like to copy Jesus, Come to on. be like Jesus. Yeah. Then we did like the second year. Yeah. Then we had like 750, but okay. uh, but the the the, the tickets yep. yeah got like sold out ten days before like this. And then oh, so we gotta go to a bigger place. Yeah. And then God gave us this place to to go in Sao Paulo, but it was like four thousand places. So, so from 700 to 4,000. That's a huge yeah. step of growth. <laughs> and you were like afraid, you know? Totally. But I said, oh, let's go, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, amen. And then uh, like 10 days before was sold out. The 4,000 4, sold yeah. out. And then the next year we, we, we did in the same place, it was like 90 days before was sold out, the 4,000. So it was crazy. And then we went to a place of 7,000, you know? Amazing. Like 7,000 uh, young adults there raising. So, something started to happen god opened doors you know there's no strategy there's no sometimes yeah. people ask oh what, what did you do like totally like, I, and i love that yeah that's amazing <laughs> and so today give us the real numbers so you have subscribers like yeah, this uh, in, in youtube we have 1.6 million and okay. uh instagram we have 1.1.4 million it's amazing yeah in the facebook we have like 1.2 million yeah okay uh, and then you also have like uh, directly to leaders, right? Yeah. Then we started, uh, I think uh, three years ago, God started talking to us about uh, uh, sharing the DNA, you know? Yep. yep. I, I, I was at this conference and there was this in, uh, Indian pastor. He was he was preaching and he he's like a prophet, you know. Okay. And he came to us uh, and me and Val said, "Oh, can you pray for us?" Uh, I, I, we asked him mm -hmm. and he was praying to us and then he started prophesying and he, he was trying. He, he started saying, "Why not ten million? Why wow. not ten million?" Wow. And, and he like kind of hit my face like really uh, soft. Right? Okay. I said, "Why not ten million? Why don't you dream with ten million?" You know, because I was like, man, a million, a million, a million. preaching the word. It's crazy. Yeah, we're, I mean, I'm not doing anything like yeah, uh, funny or totally. Yeah, it's, it's uh, preaching the word. I'm not talking about the trend topics, like preaching the word. It's, it's saying the sin is sin and saying about totally. the, the salvation. 
And I, I, he was like, why not 10 million? And I, I went home with that word. But when I was at my home and I was praying, uh, I started kind of understand what God was trying to say. And I think it's not like 10 million for me. Okay. You know? Yeah. But maybe it's more like 10 other people who has a million. Gotcha. Or a uh, hundred that has a hundred thousand. Gotcha. You yeah. know, it's 10 yeah. million. Yes. For the kingdom. Amen. You know, so we started sharing the DNA. Now we started like sharing, oh, look, uh, we're doing this. Yeah. We're thinking like this. So we started this leadership movement, you know. So we have this conference, Lead Like Jesus. Yep. You know, so how to be a Jesus cop in the leadership. Yep. And we have this mentorship. Uh, so we have like 3,500 leaders that uh, we meet like every 15 days. Yep. Every two weeks, we meet with them via Zoom yeah. uh, to talk about leadership. So. No, so you guys, I mean, to us, you know, in, in the North American context, uh, those numbers are insane. Yeah. Like, yeah. and what, but what is, I, I just love, because to me, it's the grace of God. Yeah. Totally. It is, and, I, and, and it's just because you didn't have this incredible strategy to grow. It just, the Lord's breathed on you. And so, um, so I want to make a statement and I want to hear what you have to say. Okay. So I, you know, what you've told me of your parents, they, they're amazing. Yeah. And that was the environment that you were raised in. So that was the foundation of your life where you are starting probably significantly farther down the road yeah. in maturity and understanding than your dad did. Right. Yeah. I'm guessing. And so, um, describe to me though, uh, that being your foundation. So you, how have you grown and developed yourself? Like, you know, developed your spirit, but also just your maturity, your emotional intelligence, these things. How have you done that? Because I'm just so, I really am honored and blessed by your life and just how you, I mean, how you carry yourself. Nobody knows yeah. you have a massive platform when they meet you. You're, you're humble you're aware of yourself, you're aware of God breathing on you. So I see this incredible foundation and then okay. you've gone farther. So just okay. speak into that if you, if that makes sense. Thank you. Yeah, something that I, I wanna say before I answer is just to, to encourage like parents. Uh, one time I heard Gustavo Paiva yeah. saying something really interesting that uh, David, in the Bible, David had to fight a lot. So he had to be really good with the sword. Yeah. You know, really good. He was yeah. really skilled with the sword. Totally. And then he had he had this son, Solomon. And he could teach him to fight. To fight. The sword. His strategy. Yeah. How did he become who he became, you know? Yeah. But he didn't teach him the sword. He said, Son, if you can ask for wisdom mm -hmm. because the next season is not a season of sword yeah it's a season of wisdom yeah so that's i think something that my my parents did you know like let me give you an example 20 years ago 20 years ago i would get home and my father would be mad at me if i wasn't in the computer you know like the opposite of every father <laughs> 100%. <mother. laughs> I, I, I like I, he would get home and I am there in the sofa watching playing video game or whatever yeah and he would say did you did you use the computer and I said no but so stop everything and go to the computer and then he started giving me some videos to edit Wow <laughs> Wow okay you gotta learn how to edit and I was 13 14 okay you know because he was seeing something 100% he was. So th the next season, you need this. Okay. See? So that's something that was really important for me. And I think the DNA that I got from him, yeah. that you were saying, yeah. it's a, a, a learning uh, mentality, you know? To be a student. Student. Wow. I saw this podcast and the, the, the guy uh, was introducing this woman and she's really important. She does a lot of things and... Uh, know a lot of degrees and uh, he said talk about yourself and then she was like oh my name is Tanana, and I am a student yeah 
And I was like, wow, that's it. We are students. That's interesting. You know? So I'm kind of, uh, I don't know the word in, in English, like fominha, when you're hungry, yeah. you know? Yeah, conforming, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, you're hungry. Yeah, so I come here and I was like, well, what can I get? Though? What can I get? What can I get yes. from Duane's family? What yeah. can I get from IHOP? What can I get yeah. from uh, uh, whoever I meet, you know? Uh, so I think that's what I learned from my father that really helps me. Like, we're not there yet. Yeah. And kind of we will never be there, 100%. you know? So uh, I, I think this really helps me. Like, I want to learn. I want to learn. I know there is more. No, I know there is more. And kind of I, I'm I, I'm trying to uh, learn how to serve better because uh, when you have this mentality, sometimes you sit on the table and you don't give. You know? Right. Because yeah. I don't want to talk. I want to hear totally. you know, how, how do you pray? How do you start a totally. prayer movement? How yep. do you, you know? And it's I, I need this. But God's talking to me that sometimes I have to stop and say, because I got to share yeah. to what's happening there. You no, know, uh, I had this pastor saying, oh, you got to sit on the tables as a father right now. Yes, to yeah. you. Yeah, he was saying to yes, me, you got to yes. sit on the table as a father. Of course, a father of little children, yeah. you know, but you're a father. Yeah. So I, I'm str I'm trying to learn this. But I think this is the, the thing that my father gave me. For example, I never, I have never seen my father without a book. Never in my life. So just say that one more time. I have never <laughs> seen my, my father without a book. Okay. That's amazing. All the time. I remember he had this, this uh, backpack and I remember he, he, the backpack had like wheels. Yep. Because he couldn't put on the, <laughs> on his back. back because it would hurt him because it's books, books, books. He, he would travel uh, like with five, four, six books in, in the backpack because he would be reading. So if he's in the bathroom, if he, he's always with a book, always. Every time I'm going to talk to him, he say, oh, I was reading this book. And he says that. Nah, nah, nah. Wow. No. And then okay. like if he goes to the, how do you say, a tra trail mill? How do you say that? Like you a walk? hike? Oh, yeah. You walk without... In your house, you walk with the treadmill. equipment. Oh, treadmill. Treadmill. If he is in the treadmill, he's like watching a documentary sure. or a preaching. You know? Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, so he's really hungry. I think that's something that I, I learned watching. And that's because um, I think it's when we hear that because it's 2,800 people have gone through their marriage or 2,800 couples yeah. have gone through their marriage yeah. th four-day retreat thing, right? Yeah. So, and that 70% success rate. So that's um, unbelievable fruit. But we also are being told this is a man who actually has developed himself to be yeah. able to be that fruitful, yeah. right? Yeah. My father studied uh, the high school. Yes. It's not high school. Like he stopped studying in the, I think you call it like middle school. Okay. It was third grade. Wow. He stopped it because of his family okay. and condition, you know? Okay. So he's like self-taught, you know? Everything. My goodness. Everything. He, he's self-taught. He didn't go to, he didn't finish high school. He didn't go to college, anything, you know? So that that's it. Like, I want to learn. I want to wow. learn. Wow. So I want to learn. So That's beautiful. It, it's crazy. Uh, for example, when I remember this, when we are like in a cab, mm -hmm. in a taxi, mm -hmm. you no, know, he's asking questions. Okay. Oh, what, what was the most interesting, uh, passenger that you, you, you ever had left. Wow. Yeah, and then he's asking questions. And then like one year later, he's saying this in a preaching, you know, oh, once I met this guy and he was talking about, you know, it's so uh, I think that. So he's curious. Hungry. He yeah. stays hungry. Yeah. No, that's a huge, I think, especially for us in the States, because we, we have consumerism. Yeah. And so we are so full of just our entertainment, our journey, and we, we don't have room to be hungry. Yeah. And the idea of actually having a vision to grow, it's a powerful. Yeah. No, it's beautiful. True. That makes sense to me. Because you, I mean, just everything that you've even, because you, you you run this business and these things, you, I've seen it. I'm, I'm actually uh, really impressed. So um, you spoke at our, our church this Sunday. Yeah, yeah. And, um, uh, you know, I want, I think it will be like a foundational message within our, Amen. with what we're trying to do. And. I was actually very, very impacted. And so you spoke, for, he spoke from Matthew 28, the Great Commission. And um, the, the, 
you know, the idea of going forth to make disciples. Yeah. And so just, um, just speak into, um, the, you know, Jesus's strategy, just kind of open that up okay. for us. I was, I thought that was amazing. Yeah. Matthew 28 is really powerful for us. If you think about this, the context it was like the, the last meeting, Yes. you know, yeah. and I was saying, uh, imagine uh, this guy, of course, God in flesh, he has like three years to change the world, to change humanity, to spread the, the kingdom, his message of his yeah, message of the kingdom, yep. everything, you know, and he's leaving. You no, know, he will be gone. Yes. And he will leave this eleven guys because one mm-hmm. <laughs> got out. Yeah. You know, eleven guys to change the world. Like fishermen and a lot of the, them didn't know like how to read or how to write, you know. So they, they need now to change the world. The world, no, it's not like changing my city, no, change yeah. the neighborhood, change your family, change the. No, they have the message, so it's the last meeting, you know, and the last thing he's going to say, and it's awesome how to introduce it. Mm-hmm. The intro, you know, mm-hmm. it's like all authority was given to me, on earth and in in, in in heaven. Like I have all authority now. I am kingdom of. Earth heaven and i'm kingdom on the earth right? so he's like I, he's establishing himself in this thing yeah yeah listen to me he listened to me yeah you know now listen yes it's the king talking exactly here. exactly okay he's the master of the universe talking now so i think we gotta take this serious <laughs> yes 100 percent. i think we gotta yep. look this and say i gotta pay attention to this next sentence okay uh it's like it, it it's uh stronger than truly truly you know yes <laughs> because no, that's I a, a that. bold thing right yes. truly truly yes. but now he's saying all authority all authority was given to me on heaven and earth okay. so listen to me and he says go and make disciples okay so this is huge it's massive to it's me. massive because uh something that we we i think we are confusing a little bit we're trying to edify the church you know and he never told us to edify the church he said i'm going to build my church Mm -hmm. we're trying to build the church right 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 he said i am going to build my church yeah i think matthew 16. no i'm going to build my church this is the foundation, your, the declaration that I'm Christ and yeah. the Son of God. But I am going to build my church. And for us, he said, go and make disciples. So we are trying to build a church and expecting Jesus to make disciples. This actually, <laughs> uh, now I've got a script, scriptural reference for what I've been saying. Because um, I stole this from somebody, so this wasn't my own thought. But I said, I said, uh, I am not going to build a church. I am going to build people. Yeah, and that, if I, that's it. And, and if I build people, I will have a healthy church, a strong church. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I've got biblical reference for it because <laughs> <laughs> I stole that. I did. I stole it from somebody. I can't even remember who. Yeah, yeah. But it's a wow. That's yeah. a powerful concept. Yeah, because uh, you have to make disciples. Right. And they are the church. Yes. You know, you make disciples. And then he builds the church. You make disciples. It's like to give him, uh, how do you say, materia prima? Uh, uh, materia prima, like the best, the best content. Uh, when, when I, for example, I want to, to build. Uh, for example, metal is the material. Huh? Like a primary oh, primary, the primary yeah, elements. Yeah. Yeah. You give him this primary element, yes. disciples, and yes. he builds the church. You wow. give him this primary and he builds the church, you know? Wow. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. So go and make a disciple. This is really powerful because it's go. Uh huh. You know? Yes. So something really important is not be prepared to receive. Because we became like specialists in this attractive church. A hundred percent. Oh my gosh. You know, yes. so we're really good. To, let's make something really beautiful. Wow. You know, the panel, the, 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 the LED, LEDs, yeah, and LED 100%. and everything. So let's just wait for them to come and we will, re- we, we will receive them really well. 
And we became really good in that. So really good. Let's prepare these kids' ministry. When they come in, totally. oh, they will be blown away. 100%. Right? But it's not working anymore. I mean, it's we see what we've produced, and it's not really great. It's not really great, the result. Yes. And it's not really working with this new generation. Right. You know, because they are not coming. No. No. They are not impressed. Not at all. With LED. No. With the music. No. And they are not impressed. You know. So we sometimes call revival. Yes. Jesus is calling. Oh no! It's just a bunch of people changing churches. Totally. Hundred you know? percent. I was yep. like, oh man, I have a thousand people in my church. Yeah, yes. but that one has a hundred less, a hundred less, a yes. hundred less. Yes. <laughs> you have a thousand. Right. They're just changing church. Right. Because you're a more is more attractive. You know? So it's go. So God never said to the world, go find a church. Right. God said to the church, go yes. and make, make a disciple. And then, then it's this word, right? Make a disciple. So it's something that is not, and we will make. And also it's, uh, um, uh, it's uh, what's, what's the opposite of passive? It's like active, right? Active. Yeah. yeah. It's, you you, you got to do it. Yes. You know, it's not, it's not easy. You know, you're gonna fail sometimes. Some people, uh -huh. they they don't wanna be a disciple, right? You know, but you gotta go and make. So the this is to me a huge a huge point because um, it's really hard work. Yeah, and I'm speaking as a guy who as a, somebody who's been in ministry for 30 years. So uh, actually, the bigger is easier. Um, it's crazy, right? The traditional kind of way we're doing church. It's actually, yeah. I just got to prepare my message. I got the volunteers in place. Um, it's actually quite easy. Yeah. But actually the hard work is actually meeting with just one person and walking through <laughs> scriptures and life with them. No, it, it, that's crazy because sometimes if you go to a guy that were like five six year in seminary yeah he knows like a lot of things of the bible yes. greek yeah he know how to preach he know how to prepare he know to be how to be like in front of a thousand people mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. deliver this message and you say to him go talk to that stranger and tell him about jesus lead him to jesus and disciple him to maturity he doesn't know how to do it and he doesn't have the courage to do it wow he doesn't have the confidence to do it yeah no, but because we have this, uh, I think we have this adding mentality, you know, to add. Yes. Let's add also like uh, we, we have these testimonies, right? Oh, man, this, this weekend was like 10, 10, 10 people gave their life to Jesus. Yeah. You know, oh, 15 people. So we are adding 10 yep. Then we are adding 15, you know, but it's just adding. So you have like 10 more, 15 more. Totally. 20 more. Yep. But it's. It seems like a blessing, uh -huh. but it's kind of bad because if you get, if you say to me, "Oh, I adopted ten kids this this weekend," mm -hmm. I said what? <laughs> the next weekend, oh, I adopted fifteen more. Totally. And the next week, you're gonna die. Yes, hundred <laughs> percent. They will die. Yes. And you will die. Yes. You know, so God doesn't add. God just work with one mathematical. Uh, 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 equation equation it's uh, it's multiplication he said to the man go and multiply uh-huh genesis 2 go and multiply right right so what is multiplying this context uh, uh, go and have kids have children who will be parents uh-huh this is multiplication so don't add <laughs> multiply how to multiply is when I have this kid that we have kids yes. that we have kids yes. that we have kids so now we have 8 billion people right, right. nobody had like you can say oh we have 8 billion people on earth because Dwayne had 200,000 kids right it's his fault no <laughs> you've got 3 right and the other one has 4 yes. and the other one has 5 yeah. if somebody has 10 it's like wow 10 yes. but it's 10 and so that is so I mean, it so challenges our current thinking of big and beautiful. Yeah. And as a leader, so this is going to take time, yeah. focus, energy, and long-term vision. Yeah. You have to protect the vision. 
the multiplying vision, you know, because it only works if the next generation will have kids. Hundred percent. Yeah. That's so we have to, and and we we have this as humanity, right? So I have I told you uh, how 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 do we have like eight billion people on Earth? I say one of the strategy is doll, you no know, dolls. Yes. Yep. Why? Because when Louisa, my my daughter, was like one year and a half, mm -hmm. she doesn't know he, she didn't know how to to speak. She didn't know how to go to bathroom alone. Yep. She didn't know how to eat alone. But I gave her a doll. Yes. You know, a a little baby doll. Yep. You no, know, she had diapers, mm -hmm. and her, uh, her oh. doll had diapers. <laughs> you know? totally. And she's holding this little baby. Yes. Why? Because we are saying to her, you're a mother, you're a mother. Yep. You're one, a, one and a half, you are two years old, you are yes. three years old, you are a mother. Yes. You are a mother, you are a mother, you are a mother. No, so she is growing up with this in her mind. Yes. No. So today we have some countries that are dying. They will disappear in some years. Why? Because they are stopping having kids. It's amazing. That's interesting. No, so. Yep that's what happened to our church yes a lot of churches already disappeared yeah and some of them will disappear because they are not having children yep. and not like physical children the spiritual children right you no know? so i think it's something that we have to protect okay so i'm gonna share the gospel with you god loves you 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 are forgiven yeah you will go to eternal life with jesus okay yep. but now you gotta make it silent Yes. You have to make it silent. Yes. No, that's the only way this will continue. And um like uh I think the next question that a lot of leaders um actually don't know how to do is actually disciple, <laughs> develop and grow. Yeah, people, yeah, yeah. How to make you know, discipleship. And so how to disciple. Yeah, really how because because we always uh, as a pastor, I always just go, well, I just need to teach scriptures and help yeah. them have a, you know, just speak into their spiritual life. Yeah. But discipleship, it encompasses every aspect of our lives, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And so, like, do you have, like, just in, in categories, the big blocks where you would say, this is the, in, you know, five categories, this is what people have to pay attention to, these things yeah. in our lives? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we Does have four four things we do. It's I think four things. Uh, we, we 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 to illustrate. We use like a building, uh -huh. you know. So the first floor, the, the the first floor, we we say it's connection. Okay. Okay. So it's the door. I'm gonna enter the building. You no. Know? Yep. So I gotta connect with them. Okay. You no. Know, uh, we we I don't know. You have this word like rapport. Rapport. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I I. I have a psychology degree. Yes. You no. Know, so it's rapport. So if they don't trust you, mm -hmm. there's no discipleship. Right. You know. So the first thing is to earn their trust. Yep. Is to connect. Okay. That's why I say make a disciple. So it's a relationship. Right. You know, it's a friendship. Yes. It's it, he or she has to trust you. Yes. You hit that on Sunday and it was amazing. Yeah. The, you have to have relationship. It, and, and it's not just, uh, I, I think like friendship for us became something really, oh, the, here's my friend, here's my friend. Uh -huh. okay. No, uh -huh. it's like friendship because uh, in a, in not, of course not literally, but we, we got to be naked with each other. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep. So who... Uh, uh, you gotta be who, honest. I gotta show you my you life. You gotta like open your yes. life, you know. So it's big. So it's, it's a real relationship. Yep. I trust you. You know. I know if I tell you something, you won't share with other 100%, people. Yeah. I know you're not gonna judge me. I know you're gonna understand and try to help me with this problem. Yep. You know. So the first thing is connection. So make a disciple. So yes. it's a relationship. Okay. It, it's a connection. Uh, and then like the second floor, it uh, we call relationships. So connection okay. and then relationship. Okay. And we use the word love. Okay. Okay. So here the foundation is love. Okay. So relationship. Th so that this person now has to be sure you love him. Okay. You love her. Okay. So they have to be sure. Yeah. They, they have like I know he loves me. 
Yes. I know she loves me. So relationship, okay? So connection, we start earning their trust, and then we start building this relationship. Okay? Yep. So go and make a disciple. I, I, I say that because uh, Jesus uh, taught us how to make a disciple, right? Right. And in his discipleship, he had this relationship. They were they were together. They yeah. were living together. Yes. I mean, you mentioned John 15, even changed. Yeah. I am now call you my friends. I call you my friends. And you can like, because sometimes we can look and say, oh, he is building his team. Right. Yes. I, I mean, I've heard the, that used. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, oh, this is my ministry team. Yes, for no, sure. No, 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 no. He is saying, this is my friends. I love spending time with them. Beautiful. I, I, I say to the guys that are in our leadership team, yep, yep. I said, if one day you're like, oh, man, we have the meeting today, mm -hmm. man. It's over. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be wow! I'm gonna, f I'm gonna meet my friends. Yes, people who I love, you know. Yep, yep. So if you say like, oh man, discipleship today, <laughs> totally, <laughs> you're building wrongly. Wow. You know, it's like wow. relationship. We gotta love. Okay, so the the word is love. You know, this this agape yep. love. Yep. You know, like I love, and then we go to the third floor. Okay, so you gotta pay attention. Trust. Yep relationship now third floor and third floor is death <laughs> from love to death because it says go make it happen and then baptize them yes in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy spirit so baptize them uh and we don't think about this but baptism is death you know 100 so i'm yeah. dying to myself yeah and now i'm I'm becoming Jesus. Yes. I'm becoming like the Father. I'm yes. becoming one with the Holy Spirit. Yep. You know? So the third thing is death. I'm going to help them now how to die to themselves yes. and then live for Christ. Come and then on. the word here is truth. You know? So we have love and then truth. So we cannot go to the third floor before the second. That's huge. It makes sense. A lot of time we say, oh, I told him the truth. Yeah, but... Did you was love him? he sure wow that you loved him amen were she was she sure that you love him yes because i tell my kid the truth and sometimes kind of sin yeah yeah totally. <laughs> i yell <laughs> <laughs> you know sinfully i yell you know and they don't go away mm. and they learn yes and they're growing why because i I, I, I was in them. the second floor before. Come on. You know? Yep. I was in the second floor and say, I'm lo I love you. I I'll be here until the end. Yes. You know? So, and then truth. And then you you, you help them how to die. You know? Yep. That's the difficult thing in Christianity. How do I die? And, and so what, what you're saying by death, just so if people are wondering what he's saying, it's just, it's that sinful nature. Yeah, that it's, sinful it's nature. that It's those the desire, flesh. yeah, the flesh, those things that are not of God, of the spirit. Yeah. How do I, how do I actually die to those and say yes to the, the spirit yeah. and what the spirit so wants? So it's the baptism concept, you yep, know? hundred uh, percent. I, I think Luther used to say, uh, in the baptism, I, I have to, uh, how do you say, I forgot to drown. drown. I have to drown my old self, you know? Hold us under and for yeah, a little and bit. And then he wow. says, but he knows how to swim. You know? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, so you have no, to like, the flesh oh, man, die. loves to swim, die. 100%. Die. So yeah. we help each other, you know? And we have this thing, uh, for example, now here, I can see your face. Yeah. You no, know, I can see Chloe's face. Yeah. I can see everyone's face. There's just one face that I can't see. It is my face. Mm. My face is invisible to me. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. why? Because I was not made uh, by God to look to myself. Mm. I was not designed to yeah. look to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know why we're so sick in our emotions? You know because we create a selfie. And we created a mirror. Wow. Because we were not supposed to look to ourselves. Wow. If I want to know how yes. I am, yeah. I have to ask you. That's amazing. Yeah. How's and my it, hair look? That's truth. Yeah. You know, my father has this illustration. He said one time he was in this uh, this circle of friends and they were chatting and then talking and making jokes. And then this guy, uh, how do you say, a ching? Uh, sneezed. He sneezed. He sneezed. 
and this thing came out of his oh gosh, nose yeah, yeah. and stayed in his in yes. his mustache. Oh my you know? gosh! Yes, and he was he wasn't. He couldn't, couldn't see, see it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was there and making jokes at everybody. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> you know? And then her his wife came and said, oh honey, she got like in the, her purse yeah, something, yeah, Kleenex or something. And, and yeah, cleaned yeah. him, you know. <laughs> and that's the thing, like, uh, there is something in your character. Yes. That you can't see. It's not like you don't want to change. Yes. You can't, you can't see, see it without someone. That's amazing. You can see it. Yes. I need the other person telling me the truth. Yeah. We need a discipleship to, to continue our journey. Yeah. You know? So it's truth. Man, you have something. Come on. You're dirty. Yes. You know, you can't see it. So let me help you here. Totally. Let me put my hand. Uh, so third floor, truth. And then you have the last one, right? Uh, and, and and in this uh, in this uh, floor, uh, we say that he he says, uh, let's say in the third floor, yeah, okay, death. He says, now you gotta teach them how to obey mm -hmm. the commandments. Yeah, that's really important. Sometimes we read, oh, teach them the commandments. You're right, hundred percent. Yeah, no, no it's, it's about not teaching. go make side by ties and teach them the commandments. Teach them how to obey the command. Wow, you know. So, a lot of people knows how to uh, say by heart a lot of verses, but it's not about that. Yep, it's about living. Yes, you know. So, how do I teach how to obey? I have to model for them. Yep, you know. So they have to not only listen to me but mm -hmm. watch me, and yes. that's the hard part. Right. You know. So I I bring them. I remember that I I had discipleship with this guy. I I was discipling him for like three or four years. And I remember like after four years, I asked him, man, what was like the most important lesson that I gave you? I asked him and he said, oh, and, and I was expecting like, man, when you told me about the verse, na -na 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 -na, because a lot of time we, we would yeah. sit on the table and I was teaching him and he said to me, oh, once that I was in your house waiting for you mm -hmm. so we could go to coffee. Uh, and then Luisa started misbehaving. Okay. You know, and the way that you went down and talked to her, and then she wasn't uh, uh, changing, and mm -hmm, you stayed mm -hmm. there for like 10 minutes talking to her, that changed my life. So, Interesting. You know, the only time I wasn't <laughs> discipling, <laughs> I was discipling. That was the, wow. So they're, wa absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And also, for example, I am in your house. Uh -huh. And I asked you many times, oh man, how do you pray? Right. Or, yeah. or how uh, do you, what book could totally. I read? You yeah. know? 100%. But when I walk to the door and you are praying, mm -hmm. that's more powerful then. Mm. Yeah. You know? Totally. So I would say something, uh, I say this to parents, but I would say to disciples, uh, you can like uh, not do something that Jesus said. No. Pray sometimes with your door open. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Gotcha. 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 <laughs> no, because not because you're gonna show off. Right. What Jesus is yeah. saying, right? Stop right, right. showing totally, off. Totally. Uh, but modeling. But you're modeling. Wow, it's powerful. Let them see. Like so, you 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 can say like, man, praying is important, but take them to prayer with you. Yes. Yeah. Sit them beside you and just pray. Yep. You know, and then be generous in front of them. So yes. Uh, uh, you just you you have to teach them how to die, but you have to teach them how to live. Yes. No, because he, they are dead now to sin, yes. to their flesh, but they have to be alive, alive in the spirit. No, so yeah. they, they want to learn how to. And then the, the last floor is destination, you know. Okay. And then we got to say, okay, now go, go be a parent. Go, <laughs> go. You know, so uh, uh, that's what Jesus was doing, right? Right. He discipled 100% them. 100% for three years. So I say disciples have to become disciples have to become apostles mm. okay they were turning apostles now yep now they were disciples now they're apostles because yep. they will make disciples right right so there are some lessons that they will only learn when they start discipling yes i, I meet this guy sometimes uh, like the guy is 50 years old mm -hmm. but he is he is not a if he is not a parent Mm -hmm. He's not a father. Yeah, there's some some maturity. Something's not right. Like you you can't learn in a book, and you can't learn with time. You can't learn. You know? So I, I think marriage is 
one stage and yep. then having kids another stage you know so they have to have kids you know so you gotta go to this place and say okay so now you're gonna start to take care of someone okay and that's the next lesson uh, and then they start to learn so it's beautiful four man. floors yeah i'm gonna steal all most yeah, of that you can use all <laughs> no i'm uh, i probably stole it from someone that <laughs> but i i just want to uh, I just want to, you know, we can wrap things up here, but Brazil has has something in discipleship that the American church doesn't have. And I want to posture myself, you know, using that language as a student, because there's something, you know, Jennifer and I, when we lived there for six years, it was everywhere, discipleship. Yeah. And it's almost become a swear word in the church here. Yeah, It's, we don't pay attention to, I'm just talking generally, there's lots of churches that do, but as a general you know the great commission and we've kind of elevated it to no we're gonna do seven spheres of society we'll educate yeah. there and all these things and i think it's individuals and so uh this is a, this is uh it's impacting me I, it really is touching me so. and i think this all this that we're doing like touch the seven spheres or or crusades that yep. we used to do yeah. conference that we do yeah. online courses and everything that we do now they're they're important they're really good but they cannot be in place yeah of discipleship so if you have time to do discipleship and conference go for it go for it interesting it's awesome yep. you know but if you don't have time for both yep choose discipleship come on you know so uh, i just want to share this last illustration that god really touched me uh my father was talking about uh, family in the end of the year and saying, oh, 2022, uh, let's focus on family and take care of our house. Yeah. And he was saying, let's, uh, uh, because we, we cannot just live in heritage. Uh -huh. We have to live a legacy, right? Yep. He was saying. Yep. And then when he was preaching, I saw this, this illustration, like these two candles, you know, with fire. Yeah. And there is this little candle and this big candle, you know, two candles one really little another really big uh and then god was saying like it's the father and the son okay and who is the father the little candle is the father no because he already burned totally you know and this big candle is david my son luisa you know and then god was saying it doesn't matter how big your flame was if you don't light up the next generation you failed my gosh yeah because it doesn't matter 100%. how many crusades you did For how many sure. followers you had if i don't light up the next generation i failed so it's like i'm saying uh, uh start by li lighting up the next one come on so don't focus on your ministry more yeah. than you focus on lighting up the next ministry <laughs> wow you know the first thing that jesus did was uh, he chose who would like uh being his place when he left uh -huh. can you imagine right, this right, right, right. he didn't he didn't like did any miracle he didn't preach he didn't do any a, a crusade anything before choosing those guys so he chose those guys and then started ministry because he was saying i i won't like heal anyone without someone my side watching watching, watching. you know because they will they will continue doing so yeah. we are here yeah because someone light lighted up the next generation, right? So it's huge for us. That's we got to do it. Man. Hey, Douglas, thank you so much, thank guys. You. Um, I, if you know of people that even this might touch or just help give them a little bit of vision for their lives, just send this on to some people because I'm going to send this on to a couple people because awesome. I, uh, I think that we're on to something here with what you're sharing, man. So, hey, man, God bless you guys. Thank you so much for listening, joining in. This was fun. Don Douglas Gonzalez, um, pay attention to what he says. Amen. All right. God bless you Thank guys. You. Ciao, ciao.